Hello everyone, Ronnie J here from Internet Radio Station and WRP Rip Radio Smooth Jazz. Uh, in this introductory video, I'm going to talk about uh, Sam Broadcaster and what it is. And uh, by the time you've gone through the entire video series, uh, you will be uh, an expert on using Sam Broadcaster. So first of all, what is Sam Broadcaster? Well, Sam Broadcaster is an uh, internet radio station uh, and software. It gives you basically everything that one would have in a real terrestrial radio station. Uh, say in one's home or in a building, all in, uh, in software. Its official definition is that Sam Broadcaster is an internet radio broadcast application by Spatial. Uh, the name SAM is an acronym that stands for Streaming Audio Manager, which describes the software's functionality. The software's features functionality for running an internet radio station from a single computer. Uh, this is a very powerful application. Now, yes, there are some free uh, solutions out there, and some of them are, are good, some of them are not. But uh, you get what you pay for. I, I love Sound Broadcaster. Now, how do I use Sound Broadcaster? Well, I use it when I'm streaming live from home over my internet connection. Now, it doesn't require a large pipe that is bandwidth from your home out to the internet to stream uh, music or voice because you're only streaming, let's say, at 128 kilobits per second, and uh, that's going up. So you're, you're uploading, when you're streaming, you're uploading to the internet. And most internet providers, so if you have cable TV and it comes packaged with uh, an internet package, on average, you're, most of you have plenty enough bandwidth going up the upload speed. I personally have um, uh, an internet connection at home which uh, is 100 megabytes uh, or 100 megabits per second coming down that's download speed. And that's like when you're downloading software or even listening to music, right? Listen to your own radio station or um, watching movies on Netflix. See, that's that's the download speed or the download bandwidth. And uh, so, uh, and so my upload speed is, is just over 10 megabits per second, which is plenty. And we're talking megabits as opposed to kilobits. I stream my internet radio station, Radio Smooth Jazz, uh, from my home when I'm going live. And I could conceivably, if I wanted to, uh, stream 24-7. I don't, uh, from you know, from home, uh, over my internet connection. It's not going to cost anything extra. But why do that if you can do it another way? So I use a Sam Broadcaster when I'm doing my uh, weekly Smooth Jazz Top 20 Countdown. That's me live talking over my microphone here in my home, which is connected uh, to Sam Broadcaster. And uh, on other occasions, like if I'm interviewing someone uh, or if I'm doing a talk show, or if I just feel like uh, playing some jazz uh, throughout the day or during the wee hours of the night and uh, I'm talking, streaming live from home. And when I'm not streaming live from home, Sam Broadcaster is turned off. But it's very powerful and it gives you everything. So this is just an introductory video and uh, I'm going to cover each and everything that you see here and how to use it, how to set everything up. It, it's a great um, application. You have uh, three decks up here deck A which you're looking at right now you have uh, deck A here deck B so when one song is playing and it comes to an end it uh, fades out and then the next one fades in over here you have a clock that you can set a voice effects here where you can turn this on and speak through your microphone and it's, it's pretty slick you have all kinds of sound effects, voice tracking. You have uh, a request module here. You can see what's in your uh, queue, a history of songs that I've played. You can drag songs in here. You can load this up with uh, any type of genre of song that you would like. Uh, within deck B, the way I have mine set up, I have my encoders set up here. And 
I'll talk about how to set these up. You have what's called statistical relays. I have my playlist displayed here where I can easily access them and drag them into the queue. An event scheduler. I can set up uh, clock wheels. Uh, let's take a look at desktop B here. I have auxiliary decks. These are extremely powerful. Aux 1 and Aux 2. I'll clarify and explain what these are and how to use them. PAL scripts, extremely powerful. Many of your professional radio stations use PAL scripts. I have a, my queue set up on this one as well. I have an FTP log, a history module, my events schedule here, a request module, and an event log. And there's so, so much more to Sam Broadcaster. So it is basically your radio station and uh, packaged in software. And it makes it very easy to um, manage a radio station. And so I'll give you an overview as to why you want Sam Broadcaster and how they recommend that you get Sam Broadcaster. And if you're going to be setting up a professional radio station where you're streaming music, whether it's copywritten music, and you, your station's going to be operating 24 7, then you want Sam Broadcaster for one element of your radio station that is when you're streaming live or doing live broadcast. And when Sam, Sam Broadcaster is turned off, when you switch it off, it automatically sends a signal to what's called your remote DJ, which you want to have set up as well. I'll talk about that in another video. And your auto DJ automatically takes over and your station stays on the air 24 seven. That transition period between when you switch off Sam Broadcaster, your listeners will not experience dead air. The system is so good that it, it allows the last song to play and transition out. You can set things up on your remote DJ where it plays a uh, to your station ID and then it transitions into whatever you have loaded up in the queue on your remote DJ. And it really gives your station a very professional uh, feel and sound. And that's what you want. Okay, so this is Sam Broadcaster, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Take care.